Here I am at flathub.org and we're going to go through and install OpenShot on a Chromebook. Now before OpenShot can be installed or, or run or any Linux app, you need to go to your settings for your Chromebook and down here will say Linux in parentheses beta and you need to enable that. I've already got mine enabled but you just go ahead and turn it on. I think you have to restart but once you have that done then you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and close that window and we'll go ahead and search for apps and we'll type in OpenShot, which is just about the best video editor for a Chromebook available at this time, at least in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and select OpenShot and we'll choose to install it. And how we're going to do this, we're going to open up a session of Terminal and we're going to copy these commands and just paste them in and everything is just going to run all by itself. So you need to find terminal. Now I've used it several times, so I've got a little shortcut right here, but as you search for your apps here, just go ahead and type in terminal and hit enter. And it'll grind just for a moment and a new terminal window will open. So there's that. So I'm gonna go back into Chrome and I'm just going to copy this line command right here to install OpenShot using Flat Hub or Flat Pack. Come back into Terminal and paste it. There we go. Just right click and paste. Hit Enter. And it's just going to go ahead and ask us some questions. Do you want to install it? So we type in Y, hit Enter, and then proceed with these changes. And to be honest, I have no idea what that all is saying, but I'm just going to go ahead again, type in yes, and it's starting the install process. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go back to the OpenShot page and let's copy this command. And then we'll go back into Terminal and just right click to paste it. Hit enter, Let's see if it asks us anything. Oh, looks like it's just going ahead and installing, so we'll let that grind away for just a little bit. And there we go. So here we are at OpenShot. I've gone ahead and opened this up on my Mac so that I can do this screencast recording with it. Gives you a little bit, well, actually a much better product. I uh, went ahead and imported the screencast from Loom and then took and dragged and dropped it down into my timeline so you can see what we have. We have our viewer window over here and then we have tabs for transitions and also have tabs for effects. Of course you can always take and use this on a Mac or a PC or a Linux computer but for your students that are using Chromebooks, this is a great option. Now, you're not going to be able to produce a giant file. I mean, if you want to go ahead and remix the entire production of Gone with the Wind, this isn't going to be for you. But for student book reports, projects, presentations, recording of demonstrations, speeches, whatever you want, OpenShot is a pretty decent option or better yet, as I mentioned before, probably the best option out there for use with a Chromebook.